in this session we'll see how to copy different elements to different levels by using clipboard methods view method placement levels and selected views so we'll look into that so for understanding this you can find this copy file from your chapter 8 folder once you open this you can see here different levels are there like second floor third floor and fourth floor this particular walls and all these windows and door and roof level also will be copying to corresponding different levels so how to match it so that the effective distance will be right so this is 15 feet and we have added the thickness of this roof so thickness of this roof need to be added further so you can check the thickness of the structure whatever the collective thickness you have given so here it is shown so 7 3 by 4 inch so that you have to specify that means this has to be the 15 feet again another 15 feet plus 7 3 by 4 so 30 feet 7 3 by 4 after 7 just you give a space you will get this effective distance just like that this height has to be another so here you can see the 30 to 30 and you have to add to this so this particular you can double click this this you have to add to 46 feet and 3 and 1/2 inch so that all will be fitted correctly next i'll move to my first floor and directly i can select whatever i need to copy so i'll select here only my walls i'll go to okay once you select this you can go to control c once you select control c you can see from the modify this paste will be highlighted and go to paste and align to the selected levels or align to current views or into the same place and so on so i'll go to the selected levels which levels i need till the second floor i'll go to okay once you go to okay that particular parameter will be aligned just you go to view third view and you can find that these informations are copied from that typical locations in this way you can navigate the control whatever you need to copy and you can paste or align to the selected level or in other way suppose i am in the second floor and i need to copy i'll select all and i'll be filtering that what exactly i need to copy and when let us say i'll be going for roofs or what i can do is i can go to a particular level and i can select this only as i am having one roof and i'll go to control c and after that once you go to modify you can see the past and you can see align to pick level which level that level you have to specify whatever the level you may be given that level you have to specify clearly so if you go to align to the selected level i'll just select this align to the selected level and you have to select maybe the third floor that you can specify this comes and sit here so in this way you can do your copy let us apply this over the project to better understand so i can demonstrate clearly i'll go to the copy one and i will repeat the same sequence
So maybe here I need to copy all the doors and window to all the levels. So what you have to do is you have to go to a typical levels, maybe the first floor and select all the items like this. Go to the filter, check and on. I need doors. I need furnitures. I need windows. If you have plumbing fixtures or anything you can also select. I'll go to OK. All are selected. And next you can go to Control C. And next just release by clicking somewhere else. And go to modify. Go to past and go to align to selected level or align to current view. Align to selected level. I'll go for second floor. Okay. Just close this. Again go to align to selected levels. I'll go to third floor. Go to align to selected level. I'll go to fourth floor. And close it. Now you can visualize the final output which you have. Whatever I've selected that is copied. So these items separately you can select because those are under group and you can control C and control V directly from here also. Let us say I'm selecting this two group. I'll go to control C, just release it, go to modify, go to past, past to selected level. I'll go to second. This is copied. I'll go to again selected level, third floor. Next, again I'll go to past selected level, fourth floor. Like this you can do the task. So this is what we'll discuss in the tute one. So here you will copy all this element and furnitures everything to the first floor of the apartment and all these locations you can place the component and insert it. So I'll show you that file. You can go to the first floor and you can visualize these are the items which you need to place. So go to component, place the component and whatever the items you need to bring like the beds or the sofa or whatever the items you need to have that you can browse. You can see go through the complete range of libraries and you place at the requisite positions. And when you place this you can edit this distance as per your requirement exactly with respect to the walls how far it is that we can specify. Next you need to go to this copy information which I have shown so that this will be finished just like the doors and window you can copy the ceilings as well for the corresponding floors. I'll go to the ceiling check on ceiling and go to OK. You can see all the ceilings are copied in that way if one selling is done just you can copy all this information from the clipboard which I have shown and like this the raw file the copy one which is provided inside the folder will be like this just you open that and correspond levels you paste it and you will be getting like this. So in this particular tutorial we will see how to add the mullions to all the curtain grids that I will show you. I'll just close the session and I'll open the new file. I'll go to no. This is what the second tutorial. I'll go to view. I'll go to 3D views and this particular side, two sides you can see. So these are the mullions which we have added. So once you select this particular information or you can see this typical grids which you have.
and you can directly go to edit profiles once you go to edit profiles here you can edit this typical profile to different shape and now if you go to the architecture mullions you can add the required mullions here also mullions and wherever required you can add your mullions so here you have to create the grid so that mullions will be added so you go to cut and grids and add one segment wherever you need let us say these are the informations here i need to add the mullions so after creating this grid you can see only the virtual lines are there so here you need to put your mullions click this and you can complete a structure this with respect to the whatever the mullions you have so once you create your cut and grids you can add your mullions and this cut and grids are based on your walls which you create once you go to the wall from here you can directly create your cut and walls and once you create the cut and walls you can add this information so these are the simple projects review which you have to use and divide based on a requirement and you can see here how to create that in this tutorial we'll do a couple of works so if you see the elevator and the stair lobby project created in exercise 2 of the chapter 7 and we'll extend the walls to 3 feet above the roof level copy all the doors windows and component at the same locations and till the upper floor also create a flat roof for the stairs of the roof level and add stairs to the project so how to do that that i will show you this is the final output and this is what we have extended from the roof level the walls so gross walls height you have to change it i'll close this session and i will open and i will show you this is the elevation lobby from the view 3d view you can see so when you select this wall whatever the informations you have that directly you can find from the elevations so once you see this this is the typical lift room floor where you can add your typical distance which you need to add so if you see your floor system so i'll go to the wireframe here is the roof with respect to which what extra heights you are giving the three feet that you have to specify here you have the thickness so this extra height for this the top offset you can see this is the three feet so if i am going for two feet as the top offset that information will be updated to all the walls so what i will do is i'll go for a filter i'll select all the informations from the corresponding floor i'll go to the first floor once i'll select this i'll only select the walls check known i'll go to walls once you go to walls here you can see the offset values top offset values which i'll be giving 2 feet let us say for all the walls and when you go to view 3d view this information will be added just like that if you need to have for your project 3 feet that you have to control from here check and on go to the walls and from here you have to update whatever the height you need to define then this will be updated and elevated and just like that you have to copy all these informations to the corresponding floor as shown in my earlier projects and let us do a couple of editing with the staircase so that you can edit and add railings so what i will do is i'll select all the walls
what all informations I need and I don't need that I can keep it here to so select none and sorry check all and accept tiers I'll be selecting all and I will be hiding the view so that only steer informations will be shown here so you can add railings to this particular project so here you can see once you filter it I'll go to removing this railing and stairs right click and go to hide and you can only visualize your staircase so in this way you can work within that and typically I will show if you go to the stair and stair by component here directly you will get this different kind of U shape and other shape stairs also if you directly create the sketch here you can get the default schematic flow process in which you can create this kind of different kind of stairs which you can take the help like sp spiral and other types directly you can create from these options just I'll go to realistic and I'll show you so different customized styles and shapes are stored that you can reuse and you can match all this property so we'll close our session and in our coming video lecture chapter we'll learn the new concepts thank you